I had a job even before I graduated. I started, so as I say, I worked before I graduated. So I was already an empl employed by the time I graduated. I just got my degree and continued working. Yeah, so that's the, the, the important part is don't wait to get into the industry after graduation. I got into the industry in my third year, like while I was still studying. I had already employment at a company. So it's better to also in the finance, in the financial aspect of it, if we all graduate and 10 of us, 10 of us graduate and all of us, some of us have distinctions, some of us just passed with 50 and then you have the same degree, but you have a years of experience and you have some projects under you, your employer will definitely take you more. You know what I mean? So the key, especially if you're going, I, yeah, in the field of computer science, the key is to get started before. Um, it's not as easy as it sounds, but look for opportunities way before it, it graduation time. That helps a lot. And how you get into those opportunities as well is, Let us start here, you know, um, you have a BSc um, in computer science um, and also a BSc in computer science honors from VETS. Um, I've had a, a couple of computer science students who actually approached me um, to, to have a computer science, somebody who has done computer science on the show, I mean, on the channel. Um, and when I met you and that lady, I was just like, the stars are aligning. You know, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get what yeah. I'm saying. Um, yeah. where's home, by the way? Where, where are you from? I'm from Zakane. Oh, Zakane, Zakane, Zakane. Yeah, I yeah, see, I see, October, yeah. yeah. And then mm. you come to VES to do a BS in computer science. Um, what led to that? <laughs> what led to that? <laughs> yeah, my registration story is a funny one, man. Uh, so I remember. I don't want to make it too long, but so we get our results, metric results, right? I get an SMS that says you've been accepted to VITS. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, at that time, I don't remember applying to VITS. <laughs> Imagine. I didn't remember. I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm still not sure if I, I applied to VITS or someone else. But so I get the SMS. Um, cool. I organize the registration money. I get there. It's time to register now. I get to the lady. She's like, uh, the, at, at reception at, what do you call it? School of mathematical science. She's like, okay, what do you want to major in? I'm like, Hey man, I don't know. Like what is majoring? What are you talking about? So she just used my, 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 what do you call it? My metric results to just pick majors for me. So she picked physics. I had CAT, computer applications technology. So she, she picked computer science um, and maths and all of that. So that's how I ended up in, into, <laughs> into computer science, which is weird. I, I didn't, at pre, pre that day, I didn't know what computer science was. I had to go back home and say, okay, what is this thing now? Because I knew the rest. I knew physics, I knew geograph, I knew maths, but what is computer science? So I had to go. And learn. But before that, I remember I had an idea that I wanted to be in the IT field. But I just, honestly, that that's all I had. I didn't really have a deeper knowledge than that. Wow, it's funny, right? <laughs> hey. It's like it's like those it's like those stories where it's like they have some, you know, spiritual or destiny kind of element yeah. to them you know like you had yeah. to be here you had to do this i mean you're saying that you didn't even know that you applied to vets but you just you know yes yes so <laughs> yeah it's a funny story honestly it's funny to me man I, I, it's a weird story it's a weird one 
And then you get into vets and now you're starting to do computer science. You start to have an idea of what computer science is. Um, mm. A student who perhaps is looking at this, um, especially for you, because now you are in the industry, you know, because mm -hmm. it's one thing to study a course mm -hmm. um, and think you have an understanding of the course. But actually, yeah. you have more insights and more understanding when you start working in that field. Yes. So to a student, perhaps, or somebody who is interested in computer science and who is watching this, what can you say mm -hmm. computer science is at the moment with your knowledge? So computer science is I will start with the word computer. Like that, that it's it's interesting. The 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 word computer is what a co the word computer comes from the word compute, which means to calculate, right? To add, to just do ad ad arithmetic. So what a computer does essentially is just make a bunch of calculations. It's a calculator. It's your most basic form of computer is your calculator. So. Now, when we take that from computer science, when we take from computer to computer science, it's studying and exploring all the ways we can compute different problems, right? How can we translate real world problems into a mathematical operation, something that we can calculate, right? Your most basic thing would be okay, I am getting my test. My test is worth 50% of my year mark and this project is worth 50%. How do I know how much I should get to, to pass the exam? We, you, as a vet student, you do that a lot. <laughs> you do that a lot. That's the most basic computation, right? Ooh. How... And now this is a whole nother end of the spectrum. How can I see a dog image, an image of a dog or a picture and know that there's a dog in it or a cat in that image? So how do we translate real world problems into just a mathematical formula? And how do we, yeah, how do we convert that and how do we calculate the answer? And that's that. So a lot of math in it, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, low key a lot of math that you're not told I've noticed in, in the industry. You know, I remember you have done maths as well. Um mm. I'm not sure when you were doing maths this course was still there, but when I was doing my maths, I think in third year, we used to have a subject called discrete mathematics. Um, yeah. And it used to have this concept of binary, you know, binary mm -hmm. numbers, blah 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 and stuff like that. And I remember somebody telling me that actually that's how a computer works. It sort of works with the zeros and ones. Yes. Yeah. Also, <laughs> that's crazy. It's, it's, that's, honestly, that's also in, that blew my mind when I read that. So it's the whole, as I say, computer just computes. And the most smallest thing it can do is say, the most smallest operation it can do is say this is we can it can add one and one like one plus one equal to a number right sure. so ones and zeros it's when we talk of ones and zeros now we're getting into like electricity and stuff so but i'm not trying to go there i'm trying to just say everything you see Right, we see things in colors, we see things in, yeah, we see things in color and everything, but essentially what a computer just sees is ones and zeros. So if I tell it, if we wanna calculate our pass mark for the year, for an exam, I'll say, okay, I got 50% for my year mark. How much do I need to get this? So what it will do, it will trans, what you entered is 50% for my year mark, it will translate that into ones and zeros and just add them up and do certain operations that give you another answer in ones and zeros and it will translate that to your year mark, right? To the other 
example that I used where we say we gave it a picture and we want to ask, does this picture have a dog or not? What you see is a picture, right? But what it actually sees is a bunch of ones and zeros. The picture is hmm. actually just and like digits, just that's all it sees, just digits. And it has to see patterns in those digits. So it applies some fancy operations on it. So all it sees is just ones and zeros and how computer science does a very good job of explaining how we go from the ones and zeros to a picture or from the ones and zeros to sound, even just sound. You know, if you think about how does a, P, a computer think about sound or how does it process sound? You know what I mean? It all comes back to ones and zeros. And that's, that's its, that's its way of thinking, right? That's it. That's how it takes in the world. And that's how it gives back to answers into the world with ones and zeros and just translating in between. I hope that made sense. <laughs> this is fascinating for me, man. Yeah. Like this is very fascinating. So the it's next great. time I see a zero and a one, I have so much respect, man. Because those yes. are numbers which are like, we just like, it's zero. It's, 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 it's zero, it's one, like, you know? What? <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's, 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 it's an amazing, it's an amazing application. Okay. And, and I'm just thinking here from my mathematical brain, because, um, you know, in the whole of mathematics, zeros and mm -hmm. ones, um, depending on the binary operation you're operating under, they are what we call identities. Like uh, zero will be a um, an additive identity, meaning that any number you add zero to is just that number. Yes. And one yeah. would be the multiplicative identity that any number you multiply with one, you just get one. And then mathematically, mm. we, we expand from that. We start creating other identities from other mathematical abstracts. So when you're saying zeros and ones, I'm just thinking here that you know, um, they also play a very big significance, especially in abstract math and, and just understanding zero and one can make you understand a lot of this mathematical analysis and even, you know, subject like group theory and stuff like that. But it's just zero and one. It's just so small. You just, we don't care about zero and one, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 in a sense, another way of looking at it is, zero in when, when we bring in the electrical part of, of, of the computer is zero means off one means on. So what it's processing is it's, 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 it's in a sense of objective truth on and off. So it's, what, what was I trying to go with this one is it processes like how much data we can, how much information like we can fit in, in the most simple, simple way of it. just on a, a light being on and a light being on off is it's mind blowing still. And it really gets you to appreciate, as you say, how it, 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 it you appreciate its applications throughout the rest of the, the fields of mathematics, right? It really makes you appreciate mathematics as a, as a concept and how mind blowing and honestly universal and otherworldly mathematics is, you know what I mean? Even in the zeros and ones, we're only scratching the surface of mathematics and imagine what we've done with just that, you know? You know, it's on Friday great. I was having, on Friday I was having a, a meeting with uh, two students. Um, mm. They are doing computer science, right? Mm. So now they're doing this maths and you know this maths, you know the maths is proofs, is theorems. Right. And now they're right. like, say, but like what a guan, like, like yeah. you know, yeah. how is this helping us in computer science? Because they're doing computer science and they're doing well in computer science, they say. Um, but they were like, they don't get how the maths fit into it. And yeah. I was just like, well, I'm not a computer scientist, but I'm sure somewhere, somehow it does fit, like you say. It does fit. Yes. Um, it's just the, the idea. So I also measured in, in, in maths till I graduated. Right. So I was also always fascinated by the idea of proving a theory and 
just knowing that so what 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 it is proving to me i saw is okay we've seen this pattern to be true right and we are we are in this universe call it the the universe of math this world of math right where there are certain rules and numbers have certain relationships and rules right so these are like your tools and we have this idea that this is true and how do we build up from the element the small truths that we have how do we build up to that bigger truth that we want to prove right so it's it's about creatively getting still abiding by the rules the mini rules but getting to the to the beautiful proof or the beautiful result right so let's say now i say to you design a self driving car for me and i say it's possible right if it if 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 people were like ah yeah 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 i can i can't design a self driving car man that's that's too difficult i have to i have to nah they, i just there's no way man unless i've seen it there's no way right but it was those it was that type of thinking that was the proving thinking that let's use these small small things that we have let's let's oh a car can see right i mean no a camera can see okay how can we use visual the small visual um it can steer okay how do we use that and then how do we how do we build up to this this answer of a self driving car so it's a very it's necessary in its training your brain to get to a certain objective and creatively so it's not always the it, mathematics is always seen as ah you're just smart this is just but it's it's a creative process where okay how do i use this rule how do i use this rule just to and and you fail a lot a, a lot of the time the proofs that we struggle with as students people who struggled with for years bro you know what i mean and that's what i that's that's another thing i appreciate is that these answers just didn't come you know what i mean and that's they 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 took a lot of guys proving some died trying to prove mm -hmm. theorems you know what i mean and then it it was that thinking right that enabled mathematicians to prove beautiful concepts and beautiful theorems so same thinking has allowed innovators right to innovate and and bring in uh your your chat gpts your self driving cars your even games you know what i mean that thinking of slowly building up and into a beautiful result you know so it's an important thinking that it trains you in you won't be proving theorems in the industry but you will be coming up with ideas on how to get something that has never been done before done and that's what it does it's that mental practice and having you be comfortable being in that state you know continuously i go Need on I say right. more <laughs> Need i say more no i mean like the way you've explained that man is is mm. is it's 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 top notch uh, I, I like uh um, yeah i think the way you linked up the mathematics the proofs and also the industry work like ah, man, i mean i i don't have any words well, what else did you major in besides maths <clears throat> yeah so i majored in so first year it was physics geography math and computer science i dropped geography and <laughs> physics I actually failed physics first year, then I had to de do auxiliary, and then I graduated with uh, computer science and mathematics as my majors. It's funny because, because in varsity is another beast, guys. I'm sure they know. Yeah, no. I'm sure they know. Yeah, no, I have I have some physics students who are doing maths and they, they complain about physics a lot. Um, it's a beast. It's a beast. You know, so um, it's funny because I remember when I was in, in matric, you know, mm. when you have to now choose which courses are you going to do, you know, that period of applying and stuff. And yeah. I remember looking at computer science, just like the way that I thought this were people who were fixing computers and, and no belittlement to the profession. But at the time, because I was very naive and mm. 
uninformed yeah. in most cases. I was just like, yeah. oh, those people, they fix computers. And at the time, uh, mm-hmm. I was telling somebody to say that the first time I owned a laptop was at VETS. So at mm-hmm. high school, I didn't even know what a computer, I knew what a computer was, but I've never seen one. But when I saw the computer, I was like, oh, probably these are the guys who come when the computer is broken, they fix it up and, 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 and stuff like yeah. that. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You're going to study three years for that, my brother. Are you serious? Imagine. You know, no, because at the time I was like, a computer must be a very complex thing that you even oh, have right. people who actually study it. And then it's the same with mechanical engineering. I thought mechanical engineers are like people who fix cars. You know, I, I laugh about Me that too. now because at the time yeah. I was not very much informed, but I was like, okay, you guys fix cars. Uh, mm. You go to school to fix cars. So I was even thinking that those cars they fix are those Porsches, those ex- expensive cars. Because mm. in the village, I know some mechanics. And I was like, ah, these guys, they fix the Corolla, you know, Amapolo. I was like, so so those ones who become mechanical engineers, probably they fix the Amar Rolls Royce and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, not now, but at the time, yeah. At the time, For- yeah. It, it you know, make man, sense. you yeah. know, you, 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 yourself, you, you look like a cost shower, man. You know, like, I don't know. I, 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 you look like a cost shower, you know, you know, those guys with classes, you know, like, uh, you know, they, 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 they look very creative, you know, very, mm. um, very what, what's the word? Like they're not boxed. They're just very free spirited. Those guys chow cause, man. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no. I mean, I was, I was, I was lucky enough to be good at computer science, but the rest of the courses, um, yeah, I wasn't so good at, uh, especially, especially in mathematics, you you're thrown into, you'll be good at, at one portion of like at one at linear algebra, but multivariate calculus will be just another thing. You know what I mean? So yeah, no, not really. Not really. I'm sorry, but <laughs> you know, and and, and 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 the reason why I'm asking this is that um mm. sometimes and, and I guess as a people thing, when we look at maybe you as a software mm. engineer or a data engineer. We, we're looking at the end product, like, wow, this guy is a software engineer or this guy is a Python engineer. Wow, this is so dope. We don't see the journey, right? Yeah. We just, you know, we, we just, actually, we even just assume that, ah, I know this guy is probably very smart. This guy was challenging cause. I mean, he, 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 he's doing that. Mm. But then when students come in and then they do these courses and they start to struggle, they feel like, they just feel lost because we never talk about the struggle journey. We always talk about the good stories and, and, the, and, yeah. and, and the achievement story. And now when they mm. start to struggle, they just feel like, oh, God, I'm, I'm very dumb. I, I probably, they even can't relate it to the next person. They keep it to themselves because they feel like, can't, why am I struggling? So yeah. what were some of your struggles, man, in your journey, man? Take us through your journey. Yo, it was first year. It was so. I'm I'm gonna start at the end and say v- university is a, is a is a very building journey. You know, you a, a lot of you you are forced to deal with a lot of weaknesses that you thought you didn't have at, at in high school. You know, what I mean, they are really brought into your attention, and the only way to deal with them is, is to you know properly deal with them and not ignore them. So I remember first year failed, you know, uh, they know the Vitsis, they know. Well, so, uh, yeah, Vitsis know that first test, uh, it'll, it'll say come down, you know, like you're not the best, you know what I mean? And it was, I think that's the first thing that that's the first shock is that being someone who gets from from good food and I, I know everyone I know that's come from bits or university actually says that that you come as this guy who's confident like I me mean, ah, you know, it's it's little things and then you're humbled you know what I mean and it's dealing with that humbleness like okay okay 
<laughs> okay, so I'm not all that. And how do I, can I swear here? I can't believe I have a, no, no, nah. cool, sure, I'll try, I'll try. I almost did, so yeah, I was just trying to make sure. So yeah, it's, 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 it's getting humbled, man. It's realizing that, okay, you're going to need to do much more than you did in high school. Maybe, maybe in high school, listening in class was enough and you could just do the homework and then it's, you're done, you know, but you learn that, okay, no, no, no. Here I have to listen in class, pay attention in class, uh, revise my notes, consult and all of that. And another thing is, <laughs> it, it sounds very simple, né? like, oh, nah, just listen, consult, review. And, but you also deal with other things, you know, the social thing, the, now you're not at home anymore and it's, you can do anything you want. So it's simple. You'll be like, okay, no, I have to revise this after class. I have to go. And then you go back and you're like, you know what? It, it's, it, it, let me watch a series first. <laughs> oh, let me go hang out with the homies. <laughs> you know, those are the real stories, man. It's it's. I notice being also being one of the guys who came from a background where we didn't have internet all the time. I was fortunate to have a computer, but I didn't have inter I didn't have twenty four seven internet, and that was a shock when we get there and you're like, yo, okay, so I can watch anything. So. You know, it all seems well good on paper. And your professor will be like, yeah, guys, please consult. Please come and consult. And then it's easy to, 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 to just forget about that after class and lose yourself in other things. And, ah, oh, man, the homies will be like, hey, let's go. Let's go to this house party. Let's go. And it's easy like to say, ah, you know what? I'll study weekend. It's fine. You know what I mean? So those are the struggles that... It's, 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 it's what I noticed. It was less about the, I mean, the one that hurts is the failing, right? When you fail and you're like, sheesh, what's going on? But it's what you have to do, what you learn to have to deal with is how did we get to the failure? You know, cause the, you were told consult, but why didn't you, you know, like you have to deal with discipline is a huge, huge lesson i learned from 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 university dude and it it is way bigger than just passing a course it is honestly surviving and 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 being and being in a state of peace even after university so discipline is the one dog that was my that was my biggest struggle i can say that's why i wasn't a course child <laughs> i had to learn to, i had to learn to yeah, I guess, I guess, I mean, that is not a very unique story. I mean, I feel like, um, mm. especially most of um, us black students who came from very disadvantaged background, because I remember as well when I was doing my first year, because my village only got electricity in 2010. Hey. And then even when I came to VADS, uh, we didn't have a television or anything like that. And I, mm. I used to go to a school in not in my village, but in a neighboring village, which had electricity. And you get there, man, and they're talking about the Rambo, Jackie Chan, you know, yeah. Jackie Chan, yeah. and and then Van Damme. And, and now you're just hearing, it's, it's more like, it's more like you, you've watched the movie as well, because the way, you know how kids narrate stuff, yes. like they would narrate it in a way that you would feel like yeah. you were there, you yes. know? Yes. Yeah. So when I was doing my first year, so the only form of entertainment in our house was radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so when I came to VEDS, um, then I'm like, I'm like, wow, you can watch anything? Man, I started with Jackie Chan movies from way back, man, like from the Kung Fu stuff and, and, and stuff <laughs> like that. So I would go to the lab and pretending I'm going to study. And when I get there, I open, like I'll study like for like 20 minutes. I'm like, ah, let me take a break. Yes. Then I yes. watch a movie. Ah, yeah. three hours later. Oh. And you're like, oh, let me go to res. Um, I'll wake up at three, you know, and and push. And you never do that, you know. You never do, yeah. You never do. It's it's yeah. It's that shock, man. It's, it's that shock of resources. It's it's something that we never we never deal with or never brought to our attention. That resource shock, you know. That whoa, I can, 
now you have to juggle more than just your course. Now you have to juggle the the fantasies you had. Yabo Rambo na Chai now. Now you have to balance all of that. It's crazy. It's crazy. Very yeah. easy, man. Um, yeah. And then you go on to do a, a, an honors in computer science. How was your honors here? <clears throat> How was my honors here? Yeah. A mess. It was it was messy. But at that time, I was, I was, I knew I knew how to deal with with challenges. So going back to the whole challenges um, thing, right? That discipline is one thing. Then another one is one thing I learned really early. Actually, I had to fail for I had to fail maths first year to realize that you are not alone in this one. You can't do it one man. You can't. You you it's 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 a team. It's a team spirit. By third year, I remember we had a study group. We'd meet every time after classes, revise. Someone would focus on one chapter. The other one will focus on one chapter and then we teach each other, you know? So at that time I, I had, you know, that I was into that group that, okay, I'm, I'm with the team here. I'm not alone. So you don't get your degree alone, man. <laughs> that's, that's another big lesson. You don't get your degree alone. So it was, it was hectic, but you know, we got through it together. It, it wasn't just my degree, honestly. Yeah, they say that you. Somebody was saying that your degree is actually group work. It's group work. It's group work, man. I mean, there's there's those geniuses that can do one man, but uh, for the rest of us, we are we are together. Man. We are together. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, you know, when you're doing your honors, it's research, right? Yes. So I'm just interested to find out how what was your research on when you're doing your honors. And, mm. and uh, for, for somebody who's going to be doing their honors, probably their, I don't know, their third year or maybe even second year computer science that they want to do an mm. honors, um, uh, any advice on that regard? Okay. So my first, my fir the, your first question, my project was a cool one, actually. I had to design, so I was given a game, a 3D game where you're in this environment, a racing game. If, if, yeah, it's a racing game and you have to teach your car or your agent how to drive and how to win races in different courses. So I was essentially designing a self-driving racer, not just the self-driving car, but you had to race and, you know, optimize uh, corner turning. You had to basically teach a computer how to race like a professional racer like lewis hamilton for example so that was my that was my project super super fun and interesting um yeah and then your second question was it again? advice yeah, yeah? Uh, advice to people who perhaps want to follow to who, people who are maybe still in the undergrad and they're planning to do an honors in computer science yes. Yes. So if you want to do an honors, especially in computer science, we, last time I checked, once you did third year, you could only do on research. Our honors was only research. There was no, oh yeah, no, that's masters, right? The coursework and the, <laughs> and the research. Yeah. So honors was both actually. Yeah. So if you want to do honors, like how, you know, if you want to do honors is if you're interested, first of all, in research techniques. If you're interested in a certain field and you would like to, yeah, build a project in that field, that's, that's one, that's, that's one reason, which was my main reason. I wanted, I wanted to build something of my own, like a, a project finally that not just an app, but a, a research project and also honors computer science gives you a lot of it gives it goes even more in depth and and more industry suited so the skill the the things that you learn in honors are more tailored to the industry to the workforce um, than your undergraduate your undergraduate just gives you 
the basics of of everything but in computer science we really focus more on the what you could do outside after your degree yeah so would you say that for somebody who wants to actually or maybe a way to enter into the industry uh is is to at least at a minimum level perhaps to have a, an honors yeah <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, because again, it's a competitive industry. A lot of people are into it and it, it sets you apart, first of all. And I know students will love to hear this. It also starts your base pay higher <laughs> than a degree. So it's worth uh... it. Yeah. And yeah, you're, 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 you're more, you're able to sell yourself more, uh, to the company. If you're good, again, you have to be good at selling yourself, but it gives you more things to talk about and discuss with the, with your potential employer. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the money question always comes a lot. Like A lot. Uh, students will be like, you know, does it pay? Yeah. You know, does it have money? You know, yeah. and, and stuff. And I'll be like, no, guys, don't do this because of money. They're like, ah, say no, no, no. Manifest, uh, passion, we'll see those things uh, of passion and, and stuff like that later. <laughs> you can't be telling and, disadvantaged children that money doesn't matter, Chief. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Exactly, exactly, no, exactly. Can't. Because, yeah. Yeah, because obviously the background, you know, um, uh, a lot of our solutions require money. Mm. You know, they require money. Oh. Um, oh. And then you graduate, mm -hmm. um, and now it's time to look for a job, getting into the industry, you know, how, how was your journey getting into the industry after you graduated? Yeah. So that's the, the, the important part is don't wait to get into the industry after graduation. I got into the industry in my third year, like while I was still studying. I had already employment at a company. So it's better to also in the finance, in the financial aspect of it, if we all graduate and 10 of us, 10 of us graduate and all of us, some of us have distinctions, some of us just passed with 50 and then you have the same degree, but you have a years of experience. And you have some projects under you, mm. your employer will definitely take you more. You know mm. what I mean? So the key, especially if you're going, I, yeah, in the field of computer science, the key is to get started before. Um, it's not as easy as it sounds, but look for opportunities way before it, it graduation time. That helps a lot. And how you get into those opportunities as well is starting building your own projects. I started building my own projects, side projects in second year when we learned about mobile, com mobile computing. So building apps for your phones and stuff. That's when I learned, okay, I have to know how to build my own app, you know, learn how to program a full project and get it and get it done and have one complete project. So at that point, we were already looking at, at industry. From second year, we were already building our own projects. By third year, now we're looking for jobs. And then it makes, it, it makes the transition easier. I think I had a job even before I graduated. I started, so as I say, I worked before I graduated. So I was already an empl employed by the time I graduated. I just got my degree and continued working. So that's that's the thing you have to, with computer science it's a very practical field and it doesn't end at degree and qualification you have to have the projects under you under your belt mm -hmm. yeah you have to have the work and the experience under your belt that's how companies know that okay he's serious mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. I see. So that's the trend. That's what worked for me, anyways. So getting into it before the graduation helps mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's um, I guess that's great advice for somebody 
who is doing their final year perhaps to start like really getting into this, you know, the industry before they actually graduate. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So it's, and also you don't have to, I know we, we in, in third year, you're, or final year, you're eyeing the big companies, you know, your consultations, your, yeah. what do you call them? Your banks. Sure. Excuse me. But with, with computer science, it's, it's, there's actually a startup hack, <laughs> startups, you know, you can, you can start there and then that's how your big companies recognize you. So before I joined the bank, I think I had worked for two startups already. That's how I was able to join a bank because I had experience during my, 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 what do you call it? My university career, my degrees. So there's startups that you can always join 